not later than this morning, I saw a video of Alex Pereira going into a hospital for kids with cancer. And it was basically going there, boosting their morale. It got to the point where he was shaving a kid's head. And the kid was telling him, I do Muay Thai. I'm one of your biggest fans. You could see on the kid's face how happy he was. And Alex was shaving his head because obviously the guy now has cancer. And he's probably going to have to do chemotherapy. And at some point, Alex just couldn't take it anymore. And he just started crying. And that touched me. I'm not I'm not going to say that I cried or anything, but it touched me because it was so genuine. And he explained the reason why I cried. He said, look at me, I, got, I have kids, they're healthy and everything, and look at this kid. So he could emphasize with the pain, maybe perhaps the pain of that a father could have. You would not maybe expect that from one of the toughest guys on the planet, one of the baddest men on the planet. But crying is also a part of masculinity, you know what I mean? having that compassion and that mercy is also a part of being a man. And I feel like, amongst other things, this is the reason why people connect with Alex Pereira so much, because he doesn't try too hard. It just is. It's not like the other people. It's not like these other celebrities, you know? He just does him. He keeps it easy, easy going and smooth. He doesn't over celebrate. He does some some celebration, but he doesn't. He never disrespects too too much. He never talks too much, but he doesn't even speak English. He he never does too much, but it's just enough. And after seeing what happened at that hospital, I just think to myself, how can anyone hate this guy? I didn't like this guy because of what he did to my goal Easy, even though Easy got his revenge. I still held a grudge for Easy because Israel Adesanya is the one that made me an MMA fan. But now it's like, I kind of like Alex Pereira a lot. I'm a big Alex Pereira fan. And that's not because people are hyping him or whatnot, but I just like the guy, his character. At first, I didn't know where this video was going when I started recording, but I found the topic, the title. The title is, Why? We love Alex Pereira so much. On the entertainment aspect, as a UFC fighter, the reason why we like him so much is because this man literally came from the jungle of Brazil, from the from the from the Amazon forest. <laughs> He's literally a descendant of the Amazon, the them Amazon people, the the tribes of the Amazons. He came from Brazil, deep in the jungles of Brazil. He was sitting at a bar and he saw a video of Israel Adesanya and he decided to hunt him down. To hunt a man down, literally. On some villain Thanos type of, type of flex. Talking about I'm inevitable. inevitable. He comes in, makes it to the UFC, smokes everyone on his way to Adesanya, to the title shop, and has one of the best most entertaining fights against easy and slips him that's already some movie type of thing that gave him like some superstar supernatural kind of aura he gets the rematch against israel adesanya and get knocked out like he never did before in the most spectacular fashion and for some people for some fighters it will be the end But one thing that Alex Pereira does that everybody should take a lesson from is that he loses sometimes. But what he does is that when he loses, he aims even higher. So after losing to Israel Adesanya, he decides to go to a higher weight class, which is the light heavyweight, middleweight to light heavyweight. And now he's doing what Izzy couldn't do. He's beating these light heavyweights left, right, and center. The only guy he really struggled with a light heavyweight was Jan Blaovic. And the rest of them, I mean, you've seen the highlight reels, man. It, it was like none of those fights went to the third round. None of them. That's crazy. Now he's a double champ. He did what Izzy couldn't do. And everybody is just like, yo, this guy's the truth. To the point where people are saying he should move to a heavyweight. To become the first triple champion in the history of the UFC. Why do you think that is? 
is because it's got a powerful aura. What creates this powerful aura? The first thing, he doesn't talk too much. He's got a translator. That adds a mystery factor. The second thing is the way in which he finishes his fights. The way in which he fights is like, he's basically demolishing everyone that's in front of him. Out of all of his fights in the UFC, I believe he's only had two decision wins and everything else is just knockouts. He's giving Mike Tyson type of energy. That's why people think that he's unstoppable. Now, in terms of moving up to heavyweight, he's a big guy, naturally, naturally strong. Can he hang at heavyweight? Only time will tell. But he's definitely got the skill when it comes to standing up to mess up all of this heavyweight and... In terms of power, I think he can, but it's not going to be as easy as light heavyweight. Lastly, the reason why everybody loves Pereira is his character. You see, Pereira, outside of the cage, he's not different from me and you. He's just a normal guy. Just He just does normal things, like normal people. He's not rocking any funky hairstyle. He's not polishing his nail. He's not doing the Sean O'Malley hairstyle. He's just a dude, literally. He's like, he's a dude. But at the same time, he's funny without even talking. He's like, basically, he's like Jim from The Office. This, this will be the perfect description for Alex Pereira. He's like Jim from The Office. And everybody can connect to someone like that. Everybody loves him. Even the female UFC fighters, that who's that pretty, the the one that's so cute, man, Cortez or something like that. Even she, she connects with him because it's just easy going. Is you know, he's just laid back, and people love that. And lastly, going back to the beginning of the video, is the humanity of the guy. You can tell that he's genuine. Do you know what I mean? He's no pushover. He's no Mother Teresa. He's not clowning around all the time. But he's just doing him. And he's got compassion for people. Yes, sometimes he has to punch them up, knock them out and stuff like that. But outside of that, it's just business to him. It's just business, just like John Wick. You know what I mean? But outside of that, it's chill, cool and compassionate as well. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Why do you think Alex Pereira is so loved? Let me know in the comment section. So yeah guys, it's your favorite YouTuber, Tenam School. If you like this video, you can click here or here or just go on my profile, subscribe and there's much more videos like this. And also check the link in the description to help support the people of Palestine. They don't want me to talk about it. Please do show support. And, um, yes, until next time. قالوا إنها وعد نحن عصبة الأسد فأتاهم زحفنا زائلون للأبد ثم